if you look at these two images, on the right we have what we want to achieve and on the left we have what we have at the moment. So we are going to make a few changes to make both look the same. So we are going to start adding a alpha background to the text view and then we are going to set the image to take the whole view. We are going to change the color of the text view to white and we are going to set the image to fit all the width of the screen. So we have to start adding a background to our text view. As you know, the color on Android can be in these three different formats. Uh, three values with red, green and blue. Six values or six values of red, green and blue and two alpha. So I know that black is 0, 0, 0. That can also be represented like in six value. So therefore the values that I am going to add here are the alpha value. So if I change this number, I can see how the, transpar the transparency is changed on the thing. I'm going to use 3.3 three for now. So I'm using this format for the color in this case, where I'm using black as a main color with a transparency. So now I can change the text color to white here in this case. I'm going to put the text style ball to make it bigger. Okay, I'm going to give this a height of 40 dp. I am going to add this to the bottom of the layout. Layout gravity bottom. Okay, and I am going to remove the margin of the top. So now I want the image to fill the whole screen. So for that, what I am going to do is set the image to 200 dp. Also, I have seen a problem, which is that some post doesn't have any image. So what I want to happen when there is no image is that we just only show the text. So for that, we are going to make this height wrap content. And what I'm going to do, if I, if I don't have any image link, I'm going to set this view to gone. So when I set this view to gone, this is what is going to happen. We are only going to see the text. So I am going to do this programmatically once I know that the link doesn't contain any valid URL. Okay, so the next thing that we do is set the image the image, as we know, is taking at the moment the whole width, but if we, if we want it to fill the whole space, we are going to do a center crop. We could do a fit XE, but this will, this will reside the image, so it won't look at the original. So we are going to do a center crop. So that is for now. Now we are going to go to the adapter. And in on view view here, if the current post get thumbnail URL is known, is different from null, then we are going to set this view and the Visibility is going to be visible. If not, the visibility is going to be invisible. So what I'm going, what I'm doing here is, is hiding the view, hiding the image view if we have no link. It could be, for example, that this is no, this is not null, but is the empty string. So for example, if we have one string like this, this is not null, but we don't have anything inside. 
So for that, we can use another question here, which is text utils is empty. So what we are going to do here if text utils is empty. So if it's if it is not empty, not null or not empty, we are going to show the image. If not, we just hide it. Okay. Now we should be able to see all the chains. Another thing that I don't want to see is the Android image logo before I am loading the this view. So I'm going to quickly uninstall the application. So you know what I mean. So I uninstall this. Okay. And then I launch the new one. So what I'm going to do first, what I'm going to see is the default image view icon, which is this one at the moment. See, I saw it for a millisecond. So I want to change that. So for that I'm going to remove this. And while the image is not loading, in the case that the connection is slow, I'm going to add a spinner before the image is loading. So for that I'm going to create here a relative layout, taking the field parent and field parent. The height is going to be the content. So I'm going to put the image and before the image I'm going to add a progress bar. This can, this can be graph content and graph content. And this is going to be center in parent. So, what is this? This is a, a small progress bar that is behind the image. So, at first, I won't have any image, so I will see the progress bar. When the image loads, the image will be shown on the top of the progress bar. So it looks like it disappeared for the user. So if it's a very easy way, it's a good trick to show a loading progress indicator for an image. So if I un uninstall this again, and the way to, to check this, is if you are testing in your mobile, you better change to a slow connection, you better change to 3G or Edge, so you can see the loading times for the image. So now when I install the app, I am going to see the progress bar for a second until the image loads. Perfect, that is the expected result. And now the last thing that I am going to do is I am going to make this a bit darker and I am going to put a white background on the list view. So the color of this instead of 33, I'm going to make it darker. And then on the list view, which is on the view activity main, we are going to add a background white here. Background and white, which is all the colors. F, F, F. Okay. There is just one small detail to change, which is that when I don't have any image, I need to set the progress bar invisible also. So what I am going to do instead 
in the adapter instead of setting the image visible or invisible what I am going to do is set the parent invisible or invisible so the parent is a view so I'm going to cast here a ca cast into a view so what I am doing here What I am doing is getting the parent of the image view, which is this whole relative layout. So when I set everything to gone, I'm setting to gone the progress bar and the image view. And when I set everything visible, I'm going to set in the both components visible at the same time. So if we test again, we don't see we don't see the progress bar anymore. So now I'm not going to continue clicking this anymore because that will depend obviously in the application you are trying to do. Obviously these images are coming as a square so they don't fit into a, into a rectangle. But when you are doing an application you will have the assets like you need or you can try to resize them. In the next lesson what we are going to do is set a click. So we can actually re read the post.